Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Roadhouse Wheelie. We are back at it with the coin pusher for another video today. I have an awesome video, but before I get into that, I just want to say thank you guys for the support on the videos recently. We are picking back up. We are closer and closer to 11k by the second, so I really do appreciate it. But going on the video today, guys, I have a $5 million buy-in. As you can see, those are all million dollar chips on the top right there, the white ones. And then we got some blues, which are 20,000s. The reds are 5,000s, and aside from that, we have 1,000s, uh, 10,000s, to 25,000s, the regulars. So, with that being said, we also have a Bitcoin in here, and that Bitcoin, guys, goes for $30,000. So we could also tack that on, get some little investment going as well. Never a bad thing. It's crazy to be doing a $5 million buying, guys, but we had won a lot off of my first video back. It was about two videos ago now, uh, two videos ago now, can't talk. Um, but yeah, we ended up winning a pretty huge amount, a huge sum of like $8 million, and I got some more money to keep making content. I mean, it's not that I don't have others, but you try to uh, keep a little bit of profit for your own account, and then also keep, you know, the other account for content, so... Whatever I put in my content account, I tend to use mostly all of every time, which is not a great thing, guys. But that's why maybe one day I'll make so much profit that it can all go into my content account instead. And none goes into my other one. Because just to keep the lights on in certain places nowadays costs thousands. <laughs> it's ridiculous, guys. But obviously, like a uh, checkings and savings account, I have a content account and I have my account. So I have two separate bank accounts for what I do. <clears throat> I know it sounds weird, guys, but once you work with multiple people, you just kind of have to make sure your ducks are in a row, if that makes sense. And that way I can't go over a limit that I do not want to exceed. Now there's variables like that. Because as a gambling man, or if any of you gamble, you would know best that you tend to sometimes spend more than what you should. Like for example, last video, I had a $1.5 million buy-in, guys, right? And I ended up <clears throat> not making that much. I saw how much was left, so I ended up talking to the owner. We came up with a percentage that I was going to do to go for another buy-in at an attempt at the same one. And I did 750000 which was a 50% of what I actually had, right? So after all that is said and done, you might not make your money back. There's a good chance. And that was me going a little too far that time. But hey, I did end up making my money back, guys. We ended up making over 600000 profit, around $2.9 So it went very well. Almost three. We almost had her. I mean, hey, even with 700 and you know, 50k profit, or however much it was, 700k, I, uh, I still could have lost. You know, at the end of the day, a couple chips don't fall into where you want, you lose. Like, those are million dollar chips, guys. Let's say five of those get stuck. It might just be the factor if you make money or not. <laughs> but, they added a lot of million dollar chips in this one. I am really happy. I might be able to win double my money.
slow it down now and stop throwing them crazy because I'm getting some stuck on the others as you can see in the front rows. Try to make sure they uh, land as good as possible, guys. That one did not. <laughs> just sitting on the edge waiting to be mined. This weather recently guys has been really hard with how cold it is. Can't even think straight let alone play the coin pusher. You come in from like freezing hands and you're trying to grab the quarters while you're like shaking. was a jackpot ladies and gentlemen.
and running long quarries, but there's still so much to grab. I get more though. I do get a second thing for containers for. Another million. That is amazing, guys. I want to see if putting a couple in will create the same impact as putting more. I think I got the last ones out. There's a couple more hinders on this side. And make sure it was empty. Last one going in. Oh, you anything else? Oh, some thousands on top. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to go get some quarters, and I'll be right back. One second. Actually, I was going to pause, but I forgot. Halfway through the videos, I usually do this, guys, where I say thank you. Thank you for the all support. We really appreciate it. We are trying to climb to 11K really hard. Well, actually, our main goal get to 100,000 and you'll get that plaque but for now 11,000 is the goal guys we're trying to get there under 25% uh, of you guys are uh, not subscribed so 75% are not subscribed uh, I mean under 25% of you guys are subscribed so 75% is not subscribed and we really would appreciate if any of you would hit that sub button it means the world I'll go count and get it back one second guys got them quarters let me make sure this is adjusted just right. I want you guys to have a good view. Do not want that view to be sloppy. See, we've evolved, guys. A long time ago, I used to get comments about the camera angle being a little messed up. So I wouldn't always show the... Uh, I'm sure some of you guys probably remember this. But I wouldn't always show the black bar at the bottom that signifies where the line is. Or like when it drops, when it falls in. So because I didn't do that, none of you guys could tell when it was close to the edge, and I felt bad. I'm sorry, and I apologize because of that. I forgot. <laughs> I would never even thought about that. I just didn't want to get the uh, too far bottom piece of silver in there, because obviously it's not going to look pretty. Having the outside of the thing on the case in there, or in the video. But... I had fixed it and evolved. I don't know why I thought of that, guys. I just thought back to uh, a long time ago. Well, that quarter got stuck with the other one. Put in four, gives me one in return. Put more than four, I think. But.
some 20,000 and 5,000s dropping on in there. We still got so much to grab right here, guys. I know it don't look like an amazing amount, but those are all 5,000, 20,000, 10,000, uh, 1 million, 25,000, if there is any left of those, and a little bit of thousands. If it was all thousands, I'd understand, but I'm not leaving it. Can't be leaving it, guys. And I still got a whole thing of quarters to play as well. What do I need? See if I can do it beforehand. It still won't work for this attempt, but that is okay.
we are not getting those millions yet, guys. I really want them at least one or two. of quarters to get it in there. I'd suffice with taking one. I would, guys. I don't want to, but I'll do it. <laughs> Well, I think we got one, guys. So there's one more on the edge. I'm going to try for it. If we get past 30, I'll stop. But if I get that one, I'll call it a day, guys. quarters though so I might not be able to get it anyways guys oh it's on the edge it wants to come home with me well the money <laughs> I didn't get that other one guys I thought I did because I just looked down but I guess it's still under the other one so this is a facade for me oh my okay I guess I lied to myself but it is it is a-okay I have the last quarters in my hands I sadly don't have any more so I'm gonna have to just throw them in and hope somehow I get them both but that was funny guys I actually thought I got it and I looked down it's just like half under the other one Alrighty, last quarter going in. Will I get anything? Oh, there's no chance of some. Oh, I got a couple 5,000s. I would take that. Any money is any money, guys. Um, I'm going to go count my losses or my winnings. Hopefully winnings, considering how many of those million-dollar chips were on top. And I only have a 500, or not 500, a $5 million buy-in. So, if I could double and win 10, I'd be super excited. But, let's find out, guys. One second. Alrighty guys, so we won massive. It was a huge buy-in for a huge win, so I cannot complain there guys. But in general, I think that we did pretty good, so I'm going to get on it, uh, into it. For the thousands, we got 103,000. That's just a thousand guys, it's 100 grand in thousands right there, pretty insane. For the 5,000s, we got 350,000, and it just keeps getting better too. For the 10,000s, 290,000. For the 20,000s, we got 540,000 for the 25,000s, guys. 
getting on towards the end of the uh, spectrum of the higher ones. We got 625,000. And then, guys, the million dollar chips, the biggest of them all. We got 11 of them. 11 million, guys. That is crazy. 11 million just the white chips. There were still three in there. That means there was 14 million total. I could have had three more mil just in the pocket. But I can't complain. I'm not getting greedy out here, guys. We know how much I made, how much, you know, profit was made here. So, or we're, we're going to right now. So, for the uh, buy-in, I had 5 million. And all in total, guys, it was 12 million. 908,000. I made 7,900,000 profit. That is crazy, guys. Absolutely insane. I didn't think I'd even do that good, but I ended up winning pretty huge. Plus, not only that, guys, I'm not counting that Bitcoin right there, which is $30,000. That is awesome in itself, too. So, all in all, I think I got a really good pool this video. I think they're pretty good. Um, they had a really good setup for me, too. I'm surprised that I actually had made out that well, though. But I didn't think that uh, I was going to win all those... Uh, whites in the back all the million chips that were up top they just started pouring out they flew really fast i think they might be lighter than the other ones i'm not sure but um whenever i feel them it feels like they would slide pretty easy so that's probably why they probably slide easier than the others hence them putting them in the back i assume i'm not sure though i'm not like by no means a chip master i don't know any of this i just like doing it and uh i like making money off it you know but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm going to go enjoy my holiday. I hope you guys have a great Christmas because it is Christmas time. You know, it's the 23rd as I am recording this. So there are some big things coming in the future. Um, they might get back into silver. I don't know. They might do a silver casino again, which was pretty awesome when they did that. I mean, even the cas or coin pusher that I play on is silver strike. So the fact that they had like silver, silver strike, it was just really cool. I like that, guys. But yeah, it's been Roadhouse Wheelie. Enjoy your Christmas. And keep on coin pushing. Merry Christmas, everyone.